the fifth question says sin 2x minus 4 into e power 3x that's what we are interested in okay by inspection that to by inspection okay what about sin 2x i can handle sin 2x and i can handle e power 3x as well right these things can be handled okay so why not handle them separately right why focus on finding the antiderivative of this whole thing because we know that constants will be playing around one way or the other so for sin 2x for sin 2x i look at derivative of cos 2x what is that so the derivative of cos x is minus sin x this becomes minus of sin 2x the derivative of 2x will be 2 this is equal to this right so for integral of sin 2x i will need to take this minus 2 over here and this minus 2 will come over here minus 1 by 2 which can be taken inside the derivative minus 1 by 2 cos 2x is equal to sin 2x this is what i have right and this tells me that integral of sin 2x will be equal to with respect to x will be equal to minus 1 by 2 cos 2x this is what you'll have right that's one part what about the other thing we have okay minus 4 e power 3x that's what we have right so we are interested in e power 3 the derivative of e power 3x sorry the integral of e power 3x and for that we'll have to think okay this e power 3x can be obtained by taking derivative of e power 3x right so let's begin with d by dx of e power 3x what is that equal to e power 3x times 3 is what it is equal to right okay we are interested in this e power 3x but along with this we are also interested in minus 4 right so let's write it in that manner this becomes 1 by 3 d by dx of e power 3x which is equal to e power 3x okay now i multiply with minus 4 as well this is minus 4 times this and this will become minus 4 times this right this is what i get this minus 4 by 3 can go inside and what i get is d by dx of minus 4 by 3 e power 3x okay and this is equal to this is equal to minus 4 e power 3x this is it this is what it is equal to right okay once we have written this properly then we can say that the therefore the integral of e power sorry integral of this expression over here minus 4 e power 3x dx is equal to this whole function which is minus 4 by 3 e power 3x okay this is one thing this is second and i can take this integral and this integral by adding 1 and 2 what does what does it give me this is integral of sin 2x dx plus integral of minus 4 e power 3x dx this here is equal to what this is equal to minus 1 by 2 cos 2x okay minus 4 by 3 e power 3x yes we can combine these two integrals and that tells me that sin 2x minus 4 e power 3x this integral of fx integral of gx can be done as integral of fx plus gx dx is equal to half with a minus cos 2x minus 4 by 3 e power 3x and yes that is one of the antiderivative or integral of this function that's the required answer for this question and this is the question that is we have solved this question by inspection right and we have found an antiderivative right don't forget that not using constants of integration yet and this is fifth question for us